Hello again, and in this video, uh, we're going to talk about Canva and video creation using Canva. Uh, I've been playing a little bit around um, just kind of creating videos on top of videos and kind of merging two into one to kind of make like a fun, exciting uh, whole video for students to use. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to do this a little bit a piece at a time. We're going to go right into videos from the Canva website, and we're just going to start straight from a blank video template here. So we're just going to let that load. And you're going to see that white screen. And I'm just going to give it a quick little name so I know what I can call it here. So we're just going to call it Canva test video. Okay, so the first piece that we're going to do, uh, we're going to need, we're going to need the background of this video. So like the main element. So I'm going to jump into elements. And we're just going to do an animal themed one. So I'm going to do a search for animals. And I'm just going to scroll down until I see videos and click see all. So for this first example, I'm just going to do uh, all of them mainly from Canva itself and just kind of uh, merge them together before I add my own video. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll down some of these here and maybe for the main background, we'll find one a little bit simple. Maybe this one right here, or is this one moving too? Yeah, this one looks kind of, yeah, we'll just go with this one. So that way we have our main background here with some deer. So we actually, I wanna make sure that this is covering the entire video screen. There we go. All right, perfect. So that is covering the whole screen. So now let's add another animal element into this. So since I still have my search for animals, I'm just gonna go ahead and find one that's just pretty simple, I actually kind of like this. So let's go ahead and add this giraffe video here. I'm only going to click once. I sometimes make the mistake of clicking twice, then it adds the video twice. But we only want the one giraffe video. So, um, so now we can see that the two videos are, are layered one on top of the other. But the thing is, is that I could play it this way, but I only want the giraffe there by itself. So the video is now currently selected. I'm actually going to go to edit video. And we're going to click background remover. So once I click on that, it might take a moment. Actually, this one took a little bit, went pretty quick. And I'm actually going to reposition this giraffe. I'm just going to crop it just a bit, just so it looks a little bit neater. And I can focus just on the giraffe as best I can. There we go. Awesome. So now I have the giraffe as part of this reindeer video. And we can also make the draft a little bit bigger as well. Okay, now if I go ahead and click this play button, we should see both videos playing at the same time. There we go, and just like that. So it's almost as if the giraffe is just hanging out with all of these deer, um, as if everything's just normal, pretty good. All right, and then with the rest of like this video, if you want to do some more editing, we can add more pieces, we can add some audio, all those little bits like that. Um, and it's just going to kind of loop through. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and close that. So as I mentioned as well, we could also include videos that uh, we recorded of ourselves. So if I want to keep this same video piece that's one on top of the other, and add one that I recorded of myself. I'm gonna go ahead and go to uploads and we are gonna to go to upload files. Go ahead and double click on that. And much the same, once it's uploaded, I can go ahead and click on it. Yes, it's of me dancing. It's not the greatest video, but I'm gonna use it for today. And I'm just gonna follow the same steps once it's fully uploaded. So it's selected. I'm gonna to go to edit video. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that background. So this will take a few moments because it's my own video. So we'll bounce back as soon as this one's done. All right, perfect. So we're going to do the same thing. Any cropping that we want to do, we can go ahead and do that. My arms aren't going to be in there, but that's OK. Actually, I think that's probably as best as we're going to get. And if I go ahead and hit the play button again, we could actually see all three videos working at the same time. So my piece is only a five second clip. But we can see that there's my quick little dance moves in there. 
Now you're also going to start hearing that sound in the background. That's actually from my video. Now that it's selected, I'm going to click this uh, volume button and I'm actually just going to completely mute it. So that way there's no extra audio in the background. And again, like I said, if I wanted to add that element of audio, I absolutely can as well. We can look through um, any of the ones that Canva provides and you can add it to the video. So I hope you enjoy this little piece. I think this is a great way to engage students uh, in creating uh, little videos like this. You can add some curriculum into this. Maybe the student wants to be uh, showing parts of a uh, video or a picture with them inside the video itself. Lots of different ways we can do this. Uh, if you are interested in more of these videos, please hit subscribe and like, and hopefully I will see you soon.